In today's job, a customer brought in their car with the check engine light on. My first step was to connect a scan tool to see what codes were stored in the system. The scan tool revealed two codes, C1201, which is an engine control system malfunction, and P0356, which indicates an issue with the ignition coil F primary or secondary circuit. To pinpoint the problem, I started with ignition coil number 5, which is associated with the fault. I connected a spark tester to the coil, cranked the engine, and noticed that it wasn't producing any spark. This told me there was definitely an issue with this coil, but I needed to investigate further to confirm. Next, I used a multimeter to check for power at ignition coil number 5 and verified that power was indeed present. This ruled out any wiring or connection issues. To test the coil itself, I swapped it with another ignition coil from the engine. After starting the car, I found that the fault followed the original ignition coil to the new location. This confirmed that the ignition coil was the source of the problem. To be thorough, I measured the resistance of ignition coil number 5's secondary winding using a multimeter. The results showed that the resistance was out of specifications, which further verified that the coil was faulty. The solution here was straightforward. I replaced ignition coil number 5 with a new one, cleared the codes and performed a road test. The car ran perfectly, the check engine light stayed off and no fault codes returned. This is a great example of why systematic testing is so important. Instead of jumping to conclusions, I methodically ruled out other potential issues like wiring or connections. If you're dealing with a similar issue, taking the time to Temponents thoroughly can save you from replacing unnecessary parts and get your car back on the road quickly.